Hi everyone, my name is Ella and I'm going to show you my counter control skincare routine for nighttime. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just wet my face. I've warmed up the water a little bit um, just because I think it's more relaxing and I like to kind of have my nightly skincare routine be more relaxing than refreshing. Um, so I'll, I'm just going to wet my face. Okay. Once I've done that, I'm going to take the clear pore cleanser. Um, and just so you know, all of my products are in old packaging. So if you were to buy it, it will look a little bit differently. Um, so I'm going to take the clear pore cleanser, which is an exfoliator. It has jojoba beads in it. Um, so it's good for the environment. You're not putting any plastic in the water. Um, so I'm just going to kind of take a small bit of that and rub it to till it starts to lather. Uh, there's a hair in my hand. Um, and then just kind of take it in really gentle circular motions all around my face. Um, you wanna be really gentle on your skin um, because this is an exfoliator, so you have that added grit to it. So it's gonna be a little bit more stripping, um, but a good stripping. And then take it down to your neck. And if I wasn't wearing this high neck on top, I'd probably even take it down to my chest area. Um, but don't want to do that, obviously, with my clothing on. And I like to really take my time on this part. I like to take my middle fingers and just go in little sections, small, quick circles to really just get all that gunk off from the day. Um, I only use an exfoliator at night. You have to be careful with that uh, because if you do exfoliate a little too much and too often, your skin can start stripping in the way you don't want it to. So just use your exfoliator generously or sparingly, I guess I should say. So now I'm just going to take a face cloth and uh, wet it with some water and then use that to take off my cleanser. Um, this can also help with ex exfoliation um, and it's also just kind of a more relaxing way to take your cleanser off. So again, just being super light pressure um, trying not to irritate the skin too much. And then I'm just going to rinse that out so it stays cleaner. Hang it back up. And then I'm just going to give my face another quick rinse, um, to make sure all that's off. Now I'm just gonna take another towel and dab it to dry. I'm not gonna rub it, cause like I said, I don't wanna irritate my skin anymore. Um, especially if you have sensitive skin, be careful with exfoliators and towels. Um, cause you don't wanna make your skin worse. It's gonna take a minute, but okay. So next, I'm going to take a cotton ball and apply the Instant Matte Toner. Again, different packaging. I'm just gonna put that cotton ball on top of it and just kinda shake it down a couple times to get a nice, generous coat on that cotton ball. And then I like to apply this toner only in my T-zones, here and through on my cheeks, um, just because uh, I have combination skin and it's oily in parts like in my t-zone um and very dry in other areas like along my chin it's always very dry um in other parts of my face so i only like to apply this to my t-zone because it just kind of helps with that oil control and oil production there the next thing I'm going to take is the all over acne treatment um I like to use three pumps of this um just because I'm a teenager, I'm 17, and I have acne prone skin. Um, and again, super gentle. 
all over the face and kind of pressing it into the skin versus rubbing it. Um, yeah, because like I said, gotta be super gentle. Okay. And then the next thing, if I have uh, certain spots that I want to fix, like if I, so I have a little bit of acne on my lip, you can't really see it in the video, but um, I have a big a pimple here um, and I'm just going to apply the SOS acne treatment on there um, and then the, you can use that for any problem areas you have um, in the daytime instead of doing the all-over acne treatment that I just applied uh, I like to do the vitamin C brightening serum um, because you're not supposed to use it at night um, but I replace that treatment with the C serum and I will use this if I have some problem areas that I want to make sure I'm still treating with acne. So either way, I'm getting an acne treatment. And then the final step is the Matte Effect Gel Cream. I use three to four pumps of this depending on how dry I am. Because um, like I said, I tend to be a little bit more dry um, and just pressing that into the skin, taking everything down through the neck and onto the chest and just all over the face. I love this line so, so much. I've been using it, I'm not sure for how long exactly, but since it came out, um, yeah, I'm not exactly sure how long that's been, but I had really terrible skin before and I've seen such a huge improvement with just acne control. I feel like I don't break out just like because it's a breakout. I, I always like can identify something that has caused a breakout or an inflammation. Um, like if I've eaten sugar or dairy, I know that I'm like, oh, this breakout is because I ate those Oreos last night or something like that. Um, but yeah, that is the counter time routine super, or counter control, excuse me. I don't use counter time yet. Um, but that is the counter control routine. Super, super simple, effective, and easy. Bye.